I like to define Milan as the piazza of design, a place where people from all around the world, of any age, any kind of design background, come, meet, get together, and talk about design, create design, with a density in terms of creativity and number of creative people that is unique in the world. The Italian design and the success of the Italian design in the past 50 years and more has been based on three different assets. Amazing creative people, amazing designers, amazing entrepreneurs, genius, visionary, and then local manufacturing. American design, Anglo-Saxon design is a world close to the world of industry, is, is business driven, is more strategic. And so the two worlds sometimes have a difficult time to create a dialogue and interact with each other. Something I always remind about the two worlds, when you study design in Italy, the person you design for is called user. When you study design in the United States, the person you design for is called consumer. And these two words to define people, the people you design for, are so different and really are the embodiments of two different philosophies to design. I think the successful product, the successful company, the successful brands are the ones that are able to leverage the two aspects of design. My advice to the Italian designer will be try to understand how to create a dialogue with the business world and the global business world. Keep your identity, keep your Italian identity, your heritage is what differentiates you, but then have an ability to create a dialogue with the other culture. Uh, my advice to the American designers is try to follow also your instincts. There is that sparkle of intuition and creativity that you must, you must follow. I miss the density of beauty that there is in this country. And what I mean is, um, wherever you live, you can take your car and in a few hours you can change completely geography, the food that you eat, the art that you see. You can reach Venice, you can reach the beautiful lakes like Lake Como, Lake Maggiore, you can arrive to Portofino, you are in France, in Switzerland, in Germany. This is something that is unique to this country. And by the way, you change and you are exposed to excellence every time. This kind of density of beauty and diversity, I think is one of the most amazing uh, assets that we have as a country, and, the, and is also what define, uh, what help us at being so creative uh, in everything we do, in the design world, but also beyond the design world.